Hi, I'm Jody, and welcome back to LPIC. We are talking about modifying process execution priorities. It's a very short section. This is good. In my opinion, it could have been part of uh, module five because it's part of the controlling processes. The way it is two, it is not super important, but if you know it, it's one. You will be one step ahead of ordinary system admins you can survive without using it but when you know it you will handle better your systems i've even contracted a job once about we are having an issue on one of our servers it happens every night at three every night at three if that's the case it should be a recurring job when i checked it was a backup job and backup job was using all of the resources on their computer and their system was rejecting some of the external request. It was enough to change the priority of this backup to a lower priority, a nicer one. And then everything was solved, less than five minutes. But you should know this. Anyway, objectives is know the default priority, run a program with higher or lower priority, and change the priority. Very, very, very short and small. And the terms, you should know about the nice, which is nice. PS, you already know. Renice, should be related to nice. And top, you already know. So practically, you know most of it. Uh, let's start with the top. You've seen this in the previous module. It monitors the general status of the system. And things like system uptime, everything, and the list of processes here, how much CPU they are using, and it's sorted based on the CPU. You can push capital letter M, so shift the M to sort based on the memory. But at the end, you have some general idea of what is going on. Process ID, user who is running this, priority, and its niceness. How nice this process is. In the Linux world, processes can be nice from minus 20 niceness up to 19. Why it's 19? Because we have a zero in the middle. So you have 20 here, 20 here. In general, your scale is from minus 20 to 19. Your niceness. You can think about it as exactly as niceness. If niceness of a process is high, others can use more resources. If your niceness is very low, you are eager and you are asking for whatever resources OS can give you. This is the story. Your computer has some CPU power, some memory, blah, 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 blah. And your OS should decide when two different processes are asking for the CPU time or asking for memory, which one should have a priority. This is uh, decided by their niceness, just like a real world. If you are nicer, you will get less resources, unlike children's tales. If you are nicer and you ask very nicely, please, maybe can I have, I need some CPU. You will get less than a process with niceness of minus 20, which says, I need this CPU now. I'm not nice any at all. And it will get all the CPU it needs. And when you are nice, you have to wait more. Although this is not bad. I call this as a niceness tax or optimism tax. You are optimistic. You are nice. And sometimes you lose some money you see bad things from others because you are nicer and you are politer and also you are not eager so the person who is eager will get the resources first but this is like giving a tax and living a happy life it's better to optimistic and lose time to time rather than all the time thinking that everyone is going to kill you everyone is going to rob you and every other bad thing and live like that and sometimes gain something. It's better to be fun 
and sometimes lose something. This is like giving a tax and living a happy life. My English is not that good. I wish you understood what I meant. But back to Linux. So, when you have a process, it can have a niceness of minus 20 up to 90. If you just run a command like ls or whatever command, normally it will get a default niceness of zero. So most of the normal commands do have the niceness of zero. Important processes are doing with minus 20, so they will get priority when OS is allocating resources. If you want to check this default, you can just do a nice. It will tell you zero. So my default for a process I'm running, the niceness will be zero. But I can run commands with a another niceness level. So you say run ls nicely. This will get the niceness of 10. Or you can say nice-n 15 ls. So the scale is minus 20, most aggressive, resource-hungry process, up to 90. If you just run a command, it will get this niceness, which is zero in the middle. If you run something with nice ls, it will get 10 as the default. And if you tell a process to run with nice, but set the nice on 15 ls, it will get 15 or any other number. The point is, normal users cannot set nine niceness below zero. So I cannot do a nice-n minus 10 ls. It will tell me that niceness did not work. Cannot set niceness. Niceness. Permission denied. Only root can set higher priority tasks. Otherwise, every single user will ask for nice, niceness of minus 20. So practically everyone is setting their niceness on the lowest possible number they can. When you're running a number, a command, it works on the nine, niceness zero. If you are a nice person, you can say, run this with less niceness. If I have a huge program with lots of calculations, I don't want to bother others with my program. So I will run it with nice my program and it will be run by 10 less priority may take a couple of more minutes but won't break other people's stuff it won't break it will delay them so if you want to set niceness below zero you have to be root and as you saw when i say to the nice that i want a minus number it just tells me nice cannot set niceness permission denied but it runs the command with a normal niceness so this is the general idea about the niceness i've covered all of these setting the niceness and as you saw the default niceness is 10. so if i run just a command with nice most of the time you don't run ls with nice but just an example everything will be here sorry this is 19 and if you run with nice that will be here less priority than normal commands and you can also change the niceness after you ran your commands let me divide the screen here what happened so i can say nice x eyes run in the background and it will be running here with the niceness of where is x eyes here with the niceness of 10 if you were quick enough to see it it's here ah, no. wait 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 here with the niceness of 10 if I want to check the same thing without being this fast, I can do with a PS. Normal PS will show you the processes in this shell. I can do PS long and it will tell me that you have an XI running in this shell 
and its niceness is 10. We also have a priority concept, which is a little bit more confusing than the niceness. So we talk about niceness and we configure via niceness. On priority, you can even have real-time processes, which run in real-time and should get their answer in a specific amount of time. But we will work with nice, which is nicer. So on the PS dash L, you will see the niceness of your processes like this. Also, you have the process status. That is also fun. Let's have a quick talk about that. Uh, man PS. Let's search for zombie. Here you have a zombie. These are the status of the processes in the Linux world. Some of them are very normal and common for us. For example, R is for running. A process is running. Very normal. S is for sleep. Interruptible sleep. Waiting for an event. For example, when I run my lovely X-Eyes. This is X-Eyes, nothing else. <laughs> Running my X-Eyes. Most of the time, it's sleep. As soon as you do a movement on your mouse, an interrupt goes to this process. This process moves, does one update, and goes back to sleep again. Practically, when we are talking about multitasking in computer, having a GUI, a clock is working here, XIs is working here, my game is working here, CPU is putting all of these into quick sleepers and wakes them up after interrupts. This can be on time, but this this is, happens very quickly and we feel that all of them are running. Let me show you. Here, if I run an, another X eyes and do a PS-L, you can see that when I ran this command, PS was running. X eyes was sleep. As soon as I move my mouse, this is not working because it's a virtual machine and I'm using another layer on it to write on it. But as soon as I move my mouse, this sleep returns back to running and sleep again. This is how processes are working. So most of the processes are in sleep situation. There are other things too. For example, capital T, stopped by job control. Lowercase t, stopped by debugger. Fun ones are I, idle kernel thread, was not that fun. D, sleep but uninterruptible, it's for I.O. W, let's talk about all of them. Paging, this process is paged to another part of the memory, so waiting for to return back to the main memory and run. X is dead, process is dead. If it's dead, you should not see it. So should never be seen. If you are seeing a process with the X, it is very strange. Z is the cool one, which is the zombie process. What is a zombie? I draw normal humans like this. Maybe this is a zombie. What is a zombie? It's a walking dead. It's dead, but still moving or alive. Hmm, this is a zombie. So, what is a zombie process? It looks like it's frightening, but it is not. If you have a process, and if this process spawns or runs another process, this process works, at the end it returns a value to the main process when this is finished. And this will read this, and we'll use it somewhere or not, whatever. This is a normal life cycle of a process. But a zombie process, you have a parent process. It spawns or runs another process. This process works, finishes, returns back a value, but the parent does not read it. Reads it. So the value is waiting to be read by the parent value. This process is finished. It is dead, but still needed because Linux needs the value to be stored somewhere so the parent will be able to read it later. This is called a zombie process. Zombie processes are 
fine for your system. If you see a zombie process, it doesn't mean your system is under attack. It means a bad programmer have written a program which doesn't handle its child processes correctly. So this is the zombie process. Sometimes you see it and they are fun and cool. And the last section is changing priorities. I have a process which is running, for example, PS. I have an XIs, PS-L. I have an XIs with this process ID and this niceness. I can change it. I can say renice dash N this number 7968. Oh, sorry. Renice dash N, for example, to 15 says okay this process old priority 10 new pr priority 15 and if i do a ps dash l or i do a ps dash e l grab it with x eyes whatever you want to do you will see that its niceness now is 15. the point is as i just learned when it's 15 i cannot set it on a lower priority lower niceness sorry priority works on the other side so when i started something it was on zero if i just said nice blah 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 will be run on the niceness of 10 i can renice it with dash n blah blah and process id and set it on a, a higher niceness lower priority if i want to reduce the niceness i have to do it via root access so with root i can say set this on this or even give this the minus 10 or give it the highest priority possible least niceness which is 20 if i go any further it says okay i will still set it on 20 minus 20. so this is renicing you can do the same thing in the top if you have a top you can push r r is for renice and where is it let's it i pushed r it says pid to renice default is this one which is the first one so i want this so 79 68 what do you want to set it on i can set it on minus 10 so it's okay just set that on the minus 10 and it worked but you see i was not the root user wait 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 i've set it on minus 10 i was not root user but i was reconfiguring from minus 20 so i was able to set it on minus 10 and reconfigure it somewhere so you can do both with renice command renice dash n niceness process id or you can do it on top with pressing the r for renice anything else i can do a p grep for example for eyes it says okay there is only one eyes running i can say okay run that with x arcs renice dash n 10 it will run this command this output will goes through this so it will be put here and the program will change the priority of that process just to show you how x args is useful you can change all of them in one place with dash l or something anyway i believe you know whatever you needed to know even more you know about zombies which is cool have fun this was jati remember sometimes running nice is very nice as i told you if you have a for example backup process if you have a huge ftp if you have a process which takes a long time and you don't want it to interrupt other jobs if you are taking a backup and gzipping it gzip uses lots of cpu you can do a nice gzip blah 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 that way you are not putting any pressure on the other processes you are telling the cpu if another process was asking for cpu or memory prioritize them my gzip has a lower niceness has a higher niceness lower priority have fun